Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out your important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Okay Cancer, Spirits and Angels, please show me important love messages for Cancer today. Please show me more. Okay. Cancer, please bear in mind that roles can be switched in this reading. Could either be you or the person whom you are thinking about or dealing with. So we've got the temperance here. Somebody may want to reconcile, but this may also indicate emotional balance. Spirit is definitely saying to keep you, yourself balanced, especially emotionally, okay? And then judgment is in reverse here. This may indicate um, a judgment call in the past. That somebody may have made but is sorry about that okay could be you feeling this way or your person feeling this way uh but judgment reverse also may indicate somebody not wanting to look back okay not wanting to look back or not wanting uh history to repeat itself and also we've got the hierophant here in reverse perhaps this may indicate a separation for some of you this may have happened this has already happened, okay? A separation between you and somebody here. Either one of them, could be you or your person, could have uh, broken their promises, made the wrong judgment call. However, with the Knight of Swords here, it looks like something is happening pretty quickly, coming in pretty quickly. Perhaps this could be, this could come as a communication because the Swords indicates communication. Someone may be trying to communicate with you or you trying to communicate with somebody in regards to making peace with each other uh, or reconciliation or getting back together. Okay, it could be any of these things. So we've got the Queen of Swords. This is, this is sitting right in the middle. Maybe this is your energy. Maybe, maybe Maybe this is your person's energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, can be any sign again, we, we all could embody any of these energies, okay? Spirit is definitely saying to put your swords up, <laughs> perhaps to protect yourself, okay? When you have a sword up, you just try to protect yourself. Um, and also, Queen of Swords indicates intelligence as well, so Spirit is saying to use your in intellect, use your... Uh, be, be logical, okay, with the approach or with the decision that you would like to make in the future. Especially if it's, it seems kind of confusing with the moon here. If, um, because the moon sometimes can indicate confu confusion or illusion as well. So Spirit is saying, don't be confused, okay. If you take, um, if you look at the situation very uh, logically, in a very practical way, you'll be able to solve this uh, this problem or these issues or make a good decision for yourself, okay? However, Queen of Swords can also indicate somebody could have cut somebody off here, okay? But somebody wants to talk about it, all right? So we've got the Six of Pentacles here. This may indicate somebody demanding to know if there's somebody else. For some of you, only for those of you in the third party situation, if you feel that your person is hiding something from you, again, roles can be switched here. It could be you or your person hiding something. Some Somebody is wanting to find out. Somebody is wanting to know the truth, okay? Because Queen of Swords also can indicate somebody demanding to know the truth, to know the right information. So we've got the Seven of Swords here, Cancer. This may indicate somebody who could have been lying, cheating, or being underhanded in some way, shape, or form. Being very sneaky, this is a very sneaky energy. However, Seven of Swords can also indicate somebody, you know, avoiding somebody, avoiding telling the truth, avoiding expressing how they feel, especially with the moon on top of it. So we've got the nine of wands here someone may have their guards up because they they've gotten hurt in the past okay hmm. a bit of a again avoidance energy here somebody is avoiding talking about it somebody is avoiding telling the truth but someone is demanding to know to want to know the truth if this is hasn't if this hasn't happened yet i feel like it's going to happen in the near future okay so let's see more cancer yep Look, finally somebody is going to crack, somebody is going to talk, eight of wands here. Um, or again, somebody is demanding to talk. And somebody knows that if they don't talk, if they don't tell the truth, or don't just don't communicate, looks like this will be a, a missed opportunity. Someone is fearful, fearful that you may be a missed opportunity, okay? Or it could go vice versa. Page of Cups is in my verse. Somebody may not have been very sincere or may have been immature in some way, shape, or form. And we've got the Eight of Swords here. This may indicate somebody feeling really stuck, thinking a lot about you, or you could be thinking a lot about them. A bit of a, an energy of... Hmm. 
I think cancer, if somebody has been thinking a lot about you, they just feel that maybe they're, they're regretting over uh, losing this opportunity being with you, okay? And also we've got the Ace of Cups here in reverse and the Fool here in reverse. Somebody wants to talk about how stupid they were, they made a, they made a mistake, they were childish or all of that stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. But, and they're sorry, they're sorry because the relationship didn't take off as in, you know, Ace of Cups here. Maybe it started off very romantic, but it just didn't take off. I feel like it was a lack of stability, okay? in whatever way, shape or form, lack of stability. For some of you, some of them, a little bit of a travel energy here. Somebody was not stable because they, they travel a lot, just for some of you, okay? However, uh, generally, instability can indicate somebody just being non-committal as well, okay? Or not having the means. Uh, sometimes it could indicate financial issues as well. Could be any of these things, uh, Cancer, just take what resonates with you. The High Priestess is in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, Ten of, of Swords is in reverse. I do sense somebody is unhappy and then wanting everything to be back to normal between you and this person and wanting to talk with the High Priestess here in reverse. But I'm also sen sensing someone is trying to make somebody feel that this is a or feel or think that this is a misunderstanding, okay? But I feel like it's not a misunderstanding, okay? Because the moon and the seven of swords is here. If somebody was deliberately trying to hide something, they they know what they're doing. But somebody is going to try and make it look like it was a misunderstanding, okay? Uh, that's just for some of you, not all of you. Someone could be thinking about fighting for this connection with the Five of Wands here because they're finally going to see things very clearly with the sun here, feeling illuminated. Somebody could be also fighting if you have a child or children with this person. Somebody could be fighting for the sake of the child, okay, or the children. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse. Again, these two Aces are in reverse. It may indicate a delay in the new beginning in love for some of you, a, uh, Cancer, but it may also indicate a beginning that started off looking solid, very romantic, but just didn't take off for whatever reason. Four of Pentacles is here. Uh, Cancer Spirit says to save your heart, okay? Save, save some for yourself because four, you know, it's less than half, less than five. Um, I feel like it has more to do. I have definitely sense Spirit saying that you need to take care of yourself first and that if nobody deserves your attention, your care, your love, don't give it to them, okay? Don't pay them any attention. But the sun is also a very positive card, so looks like whatever you're going through right now, eventually, I feel like the outcome is going to be positive. You're gonna be really happy regardless, okay? Whether if it has something to do with you finally seeing things very clearly, feeling illuminated, um, I feel like some of you also, the sun may indicate, again, a child, okay? Some of you just feels, if you, especially if you're a single mother, a single parent, you just, you, you just feel contented that you, at least you have a child with you, at least this is your priority. This is just for some of you, okay? I know it's very specific. Cancer, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen right now. This is the playlist from my second vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Cancer, I post your videos almost every single day. If you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Cancer. Bye.